Welcome to Batshit, a frank and funny look at living with mental illness. While we'll touch on several illnesses, Batshit is focused on those along the spectrum of bipolar disorders. I'm your host, Adam. And I'm your other host, Brad. And we're both bipolar, so strap in and let's see how Batshit we really are. Spoiler alert, pretty damn Batshit. Mm. This episode's topic, Batshit Year in Review. Yeah, woo! 2023, coming to a close. Yeah, why are we in a monster truck rally? I don't know. <laughs> Sunday, 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 Sunday. I love that. Have you ever been to a monster truck rally? No, actually, I haven't. Really? You're from yeah. the South. I Isn't know. that kind of like a... I know. I was, uh, as a kid, I was really into Bigfoot. Oh, yeah. I remember Bigfoot. Yeah, Bigfoot yeah, was awesome. Bigfoot was super cool. Yeah. Um, you know what's a, a better announcer voice, though? Mm. All right, everybody, put your hands together. Coming to the stage is Candy. No, Candy on the main stage. <laughs> Dominique on the bar. <laughs> Uh, yeah, gross. Uh, <laughs> uh, guys, it's the end of year one of, uh, bad shit. And, uh, it's been a fucking trip. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's really been a trip. Um, let's just start with the podcast itself. The response we've gotten, the, yeah. the community we're starting to build. Uh, we've only been doing this for like seven months, eight months, something like that. Something like that. I think, I think we launched in April. Yeah, April. So that's yeah. January, February, March. Yeah, it's so like eight months. Yeah. And we're, you know, uh, we're talking like a thousand followers. Um, on, what was the just on Spotify. Just on Spotify. Yeah. We're at 36,000 and something downloads yeah. as of this recording. Yeah, exactly. By the end of the year, we'll when this actually is released, we'll have crossed uh, 40,000. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. we've just been keep growing exponentially, and I think that's all because of you. Uh, y'all are listening. Y'all, you know, you either, maybe you don't. Maybe people are out there hate listening to us. Like, hey, that's oh, I fucking hate these people, but I'm going to keep listening. Keep hating us. Uh, or, you know, you just like to have uh, other voices in your head besides the voices in your head. <laughs> and you've picked Brad and myself. For some reason. I don't know why. I don't yeah. necessarily recommend you keep doing that. But, yeah. uh, <laughs> but we, yeah, we've been getting so many messages from people who say they finally feel seen. Yeah. Or they they have a partner who's bipolar and they haven't learned how to deal with it. Yeah. We got an angry one the other day. Oh, we did? Can I tell you about this? No, no. Well, maybe you did. You, we do get a bunch of those. <laughs> so it was... Uh, it was somebody who had listened to our relationships episode. Okay. And the message was, uh, uh, I was hoping to find some legitimate information oh, yeah. on how to deal with my bipolar spouse. <laughs> yes, I remember. And instead, you guys are laughing and joking about it. You've lost a listener. Right. Like, do we ever, like, do we have a listener? Yeah. There? I don't think we ever did. Did you, did you listen to the opening where we say a frank and funny look? Right. Living with mental illness? Usually in a weird voice and yeah. delivery pattern. It's not, yeah. yeah, I don't know. People are, people are weird. Um, it's been uh, it's it's felt really good to talk about this stuff. It has. Yeah, yeah. Um it's been another form of therapy. I keep saying that, but it is. It's hard to do. It can be very hard to do, especially like Brad and I have been trying to get together for like 2 weeks to record yeah. and it's been a slog for me to 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 be like, "Hey Brad, let's record on such and such a night." Just because I've had a ton on my plate. And as much as I enjoy doing this podcast, it's work. Yeah. It's work. Yeah. I know it doesn't seem like it. Although I feel like a lot of people have that attitude about Hollywood or anything like entertainment based. Like, you're just getting up there and doing stuff. I'm like, nah, man, there's microphones involved. There's cameras. Yeah. There's lights. There's editing equipment. And that's just us being off the cuff. Like, yeah. We don't do any prep. Oh, really God, no. These. Every now and then, you know, like... Like when we did the attachment theory episode, I read sure. up on attachment theories. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. We'll look at like suicide statistics, things like that. But we're not really, we're not doing the prep that other podcasts no. are doing. No. And I feel like episode. that's one of the reasons we can kick out as many episodes as we do. Because like I was talking to a buddy of mine. He has a podcast. It's great. Um, uh, 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 Jocular Pugilist. It's my buddy Phil. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. Uh, he produces the crap out of those episodes he and his buddy record and um you know there are sound effects there are transitions there are you know like all sorts of things they they kind of map out a little bit of what they're going to talk about then they edit it and it's like it's a lot of work i we just kind of slapdash this shit together and put it up 
Yeah. And uh, y'all still like it, so I'm not going to put any more effort in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is it. This is it for this, us. This is what you're getting. Uh, <laughs> I know we can probably improve on this, and maybe one day we will. Uh, if we get someone out there who wants to be our producer, and they can be like, hey, stop it. Stop doing this. Well, you, know? you know, people people constantly write us and say that one of the things they like is they feel like they're eavesdropping on a conversation between two friends. Yeah, which you yeah. are. Yeah. Which you are. And, you know, uh, somebody had written the episode with um, uh, Carlos Larkin. Yes, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, Carlos suffers from uh, narcissistic personality disorder, bipolar, and ADHD. Yep. And uh, that was, uh, I think Adam set that one out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to. I was just literally monitoring mic levels yeah, that so whole was, time. Uh, was I was a... here. I just wasn't on the camera yeah. or talking. So it was me... Uh, guest host Jessica Wall, and then Carlos. And uh, we'd gotten a, I think I forwarded you this, mm. but we got an email, someone who loved that episode because they just, they they said they listened to it in their car during a road trip and they felt like there were three friends sitting in the car with them. That's awesome. Chatting, yeah. That's awesome. And I feel like as slapdash as we are, that's kind of, that's kind of what we do. Well, Hopefully, yeah. that's how you I, guys feel. I think so. And we also don't have any agenda. Which I think is yeah. important. I mean, our agenda, if we do have one, is to just have a conversation about mental health. Mm-hmm. You know, we're not trying to get y'all to do anything or, you know... like. But if you want to send us money, we'll take it. <laughs> you can, yeah, go ahead, send us money. I don't <laughs> yeah, mind it. We'll take it. We'll take money. Um, but, you know, like I said, like, there's, we're not promoting anything. Yes, do we have a sponsor in a way of better help? Sure we do. But that's because, honestly, I hope y'all who need help are getting it and it's just a method to do it and by the way i've been doing therapy through better help how's it been uh i it's been great mm. i so when i signed up i went through a, a series a few questionnaires to mm. help pair me with the best therapist the therapist i i needed and my previous therapist who was great uh was very much a it was it's cognitive behavioral therapy so it was just very much uh, how are you feeling today? Right. You know, let's let's talk about your childhood. Sure. And I got to a point where it's like, okay, I feel like I've talked all that out. I need some concrete solutions, mm. things that I can do. And so my therapist that I got on better help after I went through the questionnaire was exactly that. Oh, really? Yeah. She taught me EFT. She she constantly gives me these homework assignments. Uh, you know, I have these things I have to fill out, and she's, you know. She was even trying to help me find work. No, oh, well, wow, that's nice. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah, no, she's so she's been great. Uh, although, if you're when you're listening to this, you've probably the episode where I confess that I was thinking about suicide for a bit has dropped. Um, so uh, if you, if you haven't listened to that, <laughs> give that a fun listen. <laughs> that's a show. Oh my god, no. it's it's a laugh a minute. I love the idea of people just listening to this episode first. I mean, I don't know how anyone listens to these episodes out of order. I guess you could, like, because that's the thing. We have certain episodes that have more hits than other episodes. Like any of our episodes about relationships have a ton more hits than any other relation. But uh, at the same time, I can't imagine jumping in to one of those episodes because we oh, are yeah. very frank in those episodes and we oh, talk yeah. about a lot of our personal life. And like, I like, who the fuck are these whack jobs? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's just, I don't know. I kind of feel, but that's who I am. I'm one of those people who's like, I got to go in order. <laughs> I have to start at the beginning. Nerd. Well, you miss all our inside jokes if you don't. Exactly. Yeah, you're like, why are they singing again? <laughs> yeah, like, what, what's this actor Brad? Exactly, actor Brad, right? <laughs> why do they talk so much about Danny DeVito? Avocados? Why is there an avocado <laughs> cartel? I don't get it. Um, uh, deep dive into avocado cartels. Yeah, um, but uh, that was one thing my, my therapist, when I told her I was having suicidal thoughts and that I had written suicide notes to various people and saved them in the drafts folder of my email, uh, she was like, she was like, I don't, I don't know that I'm equipped to deal with this. Right. She had a moment where she was, she was like thinking about dropping me, mm. but then was like, I don't want to leave you without anyone. So I'm going to stick with you, but uh, like, help me like work through all that. That's great. Um, well, and you know, that's, that's part of our year in review too. It's like, we're both in therapy and yeah. last year at this time I wasn't in therapy and uh it's it's been great it's been it's been awesome to 
to know that I have someone I can talk to. And, you know, my therapist and I do a lot of conversations that lead to tangential leaps. Like, he's not someone who's like, let's talk about your childhood. He's just, you know, he's like, what's going on with you today? And we talk, and we get from A to B to C that way. Yeah. And it's nice because it feels like an honest, real conversation with someone who is on your side who is helping you put give your give your thoughts and your experiences perspective. Yeah. And that's what I really I I enjoy that. I enjoy that. I mean it, it it's you talk about your therapist helping to provide not answers but solutions I think you said like like trying to solve yeah. my therapist therapist doesn't do that. And part of me sometimes wishes he would. But at the end of the day, it, I still feel better having someone to talk to. Yeah, I felt like I needed coping mechanisms. Sure. And that's that's what I'm getting from my current therapist. That's great. And by the way, if you want to sign up for BetterHelp, uh, if you don't have a therapist or if you're looking for a new one, uh, you can use our code. It's uh, betterhelp.com backslash batshit. Yep. And that'll get you 10% off. Mm. And I'm so surprised uh, no one had taken that web address. <laughs> yeah, yeah, seriously. How how did the uh the Batman podcast? Not nah, jump uh, on that. Yeah. That's on you. Way to go, Batman. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad that we have surpassed them when you search bat shit. Yeah. <laughs> that was true. That, first, that was bugging us so much. When we first started this podcast, you'd search bat shit and that Batman podcast would come up. Yeah. And the number of people I I told about the podcast would be like, Is it is it the Batman one? I'm like, no, no. I told you it's about mental health. They're like, Yeah, but the Batman one showed up. You're listening to that now. I'm listening to that now. I'm like, you ass. <laughs> I, you know, one of the things that I've enjoyed is that when you search uh, terms like bipolar or mm. mental illness now on Spotify or uh, Apple, uh, we're one of like the top five podcasts that show up. That's good. Not in terms of viewers. No, 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 but, no, no, no. But when you are listeners. No, we don't uh, have. The, there, are, there are some big podcasts oh, about yeah. mental health, but and when good for them, but yeah, but just the fact that we show up in the searches that are, yeah. it's like all right, awesome. I this has never been about us versus them in terms of other podcasts. No, we're just giving no. another option. Yeah, you we're, know, I mean? we're doing our thing because most other mental health <laughs> podcasts come at it from a clinical standpoint, right? And some people need to hear that. Yeah, and it helps them. And they take the topic very seriously. And mm-hmm. that's one of the reasons we wanted to do bad shit the way that we do it is that we felt we needed a laugh yeah. about it. And we wondered how many other people needed to laugh about it. Yeah. And just kind of talk about it flippantly. And even with the clinical ones, you don't get a lot of people who have the mental illnesses opening up about them. No, no. It's much more like almost like they're not trying to solve the problem mm-hmm. of the person calling of uh, the person's uh, um, case that they're talking about, but it definitely feels like they're analyzing it, you know, yeah. and it's just analytical. I think you already said that word analytical, mm-hmm. but, and, and that's not very helpful to me. Yeah. I can self analyze all fucking day long. I'm sure we all can, and we all do, but that doesn't help me. You know, it, it so We're going to go on a slight tangent real quick, but I promise it all ties in. So when I'm trying to learn lines for a script, right, and I'm having trouble doing it, what I will do after I think I've, you know, read the script a thousand times, I will read it in another voice. Like I will specifically take on an accent. Like I'll do a Jimmy Stewart or I'll do a Arnold Schwarzenegger. Well, you know, that's a terrible Arnold Schwarzenegger, but Arnold, you know, I'll do that because what that does when I'm reading a script that way is I find new rhythms Mm -hmm. to the words and the lines. And I may find something as Jimmy Stewart or Arnold Schwarzenegger that I like and I keep it. And I do it in Adam's voice, but in their rhythm. Does that make sense? Right. Right. So that's what this podcast should be for you. Because what we do all day long is self-analyze what's going on in our head right? We sit there and we like dissect our actions and our emotions and our feelings and our inclinations. And sometimes that self-analyzation gets heavy and gets clinical and gets, and you need to take a step back and hear it from another point of view and another voice. And that's what we're being. We're being another voice. Hey friends. 
Brad and I started Batshit because we needed someone to talk to about our bipolar. So when looking for a sponsor, BetterHelp was the obvious choice. BetterHelp provides access to therapists via text, via Zoom, via email, via phone call, 24 hours, seven days a week. I don't need to tell anyone how broken the American healthcare system is, especially when it comes to mental illness. But the beautiful thing about BetterHelp is that they'll work with you. Go to www.betterhelp.com backslash batshit. You'll get 10% off for the first month and you'll get someone to talk to right now. If you need to talk to someone, do it. Please. We love you. Please like, subscribe, and share it on social media. If you have someone you think may need to hear it, we encourage you to share it with them and to start your own conversation about mental health. Another opportunity for you to hear your illness from, you know, a more lighthearted, I guess, point of view. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it, that it's all it's not all dour in the end of the world. No, because it can't be. Yeah. Because then, but like, if that was the case, if there was no hope and it was just a really sad situation, then what's the point? Yeah. What's and the that's point? That's not to say you're not going to have downs. I mean, again, we recorded an entire episode where I was like, Adam, I'm thinking of killing myself. Yep. He sprung uh, that on me, the yeah. dick. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, we're going to talk about puppies this episode. I'm like, this is going to be a great episode. And then, fuck you, Brad. <laughs> fuck you. Uh, I wanted an honest reaction. I get that. <laughs> um, you know, so that's not to say that there's not downs. Sure. And we recognize that. But we still have to laugh about them. Yeah. I mean, we laugh a lot in that suicide episode. We did. We really yeah. did. Uh, it's. It's. I was going back to like, I was like, should I try and pull social media clips from the suicide episode? Like, part of me felt really bad about that. But no, but we do, we do, we laugh a lot yeah. in that episode. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's, you know, we've we've lucked out too this year in being able to talk to people with other mental illnesses. Oh, we've had some amazing guests. Yeah. Amazing guests. You know, Maggie yeah. Quinn talking about uh, postpartum. postpartum and yeah, that was, I loved those episodes. Yeah. I thought they were so great. Yeah, that was fantastic and, and a great insight into obviously something that Adam and I can't really speak to from experience. At all, no. Uh, Christy Wampler was on talking about CPTSD. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, I said it right. Hey, you did. I was impressed. That wasn't good. That's why I let you say that yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, but we, uh, Rebecca Stevens was on as a therapist. Yeah, like sharing about things from the therapist. Point of yeah, view. Yeah, which was fantastic, especially as a young therapist and just getting into the game. Like, that yeah. was great to hear. Again, we had Carlos on talking about his problems. Right. Uh, cover model Jessica Wall talking about eating disorders. We had Aiden Cox joined us. To oh, t- yeah. Talk that about was research into masculinity, uh, which had some of our most controversial social media posts. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just the most toxic men of the internet not liking women talking, <laughs> which is ostensibly what all their comments were. Yeah. We had a uh, poet Lauren Malisi on to talk about borderline personality disorder. Yep. Yep. We had like a missing lo- a guest. Mm. No, I can't think of any right now. But. You know, yeah. but that's okay. If we forgot you and you're listening, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, but that was not the intention was yeah. to leave you out. Uh, but we we've had a lot of awesome guests, mm-hmm. and everyone, every guest that we've had, their reaction has been the same. It's like you guys are talking about this. Cool, let's do it. You know, yeah. like, very enthusiastic. And we have a lot of guests in the wings yes. coming up. Aiden Aiden Cox wants to rejoin us because uh, she grew up in the foster care system. Mm-hmm. She wants to talk about that effect on mental health. Yep. My, my therapist yeah. wants to jump on. He had PhD, Dr. Stephen Poulter. Uh, he's really excited to be on. He loves what we're doing. Um, and he can't wait to share his personal experiences with dealing with people with bipolar, all sorts of other mental illnesses. So that should be a really interesting episode. We've had on uh, Instagram, uh, it's someone reached out to us who is, um, uh, they run a uh, another mental health podcast, but they're faith-based. Ooh. Which I think that would be interesting. Yeah. And then someone who is a uh, uh, studies mental health from a holistic standpoint, mm. uh, which could go either way. No, I mean, it's a conversation. I don't mind a having a conversation. Yeah. I, there was someone who reached out to us about... Um, uh, military, like they were, uh, someone, the vet. Remember, there was That's a veteran. Right. I'd love to get that person on the podcast. Yeah, we need to, we need to get we'll back in back touch with them. them. Yeah, yeah, we're we're bad about answering all the emails because yeah. we get so many. Yeah, 
So apologies if if we haven't gotten to you. Yeah, yet. no, it's nothing us. personal. Yeah, but and we read every one of them. Right. Yes. You, you, honestly, the number of times Brad and I send stuff back and forth to each other during the day. Like, here's the thing: your emails and your messages may not get responses in a typical sense. But I'll tell you right now, the reason we're still making this podcast is because of those messages. Yeah. So that response you're looking for, this is it. It's the podcast. Yeah. Um, it's nothing and sometimes personal. sometimes that turns into topics for episodes. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Diet and exercise mm -hmm. was one. That was one of them. Yeah. Uh, drugs. Drugs. Yep, yep, yeah. yep. Coping mechanisms. There was a couple. Was and, a you know, it's interesting, the, um, the episodes that gain in popularity – like mm. you said, our relationship episodes are far and away our most popular episodes. But um, things like delusions just yep. jumped into our top ten. Yeah, um, out of the blue, uh, you know. So we <clears throat> we have a lot of episodes where we break down individual facets mm -hmm. of being mentally ill. You know, we have an episode where we solely talk about the grandiosity that comes with mania. Yeah, we have another episode where we talk about overspending uh, when you're mentally ill. Um, you know, so we get we get kind of granular mm. sometimes, and then other times we're broader. Again, our relationship episodes, people love to listen to our fucked up stories. Well, I think that's the other, uh, the great thing about the podcast is that we will get people who search for bipolar relationships on Spotify or iTunes or whatever, and that's how we pop up, right? Um, but at the same time, one of our biggest draws is people feel like. They're just talking, sitting in a room with a couple of friends, shooting the shit. And so when you see those episodes that you may not have listened to yet, like, for instance, Grandiosity or Delusions or, you know, it, it, you see these episodes, maybe you haven't listened. That's not us going down a rabbit hole. That's us having a conversation between two friends about how this particular element may affect them. Yeah. And so it's it's... You know, you may say, oh, I, I've never experienced grandiosity. That's that's not something that interests or relates to me. It may not, but it's a different point of view. It's a different uh, set of stories you can hear by listening. Can't hurt. You yeah. Know? This so, is true. This I don't know. True. May help, may not help. Um, I'll say, too, this has not been an easy year for either one of us. No, God, no. God, no. I'm, like, we, you name it, we've gone through it. Lost multiple jobs, mm -hmm. uh, relationship troubles, uh, diagnoses, changed diagnoses, changed medication levels. Yeah. Just all sorts I, I of went from bipolar 2 to bipolar 1 to bipolar 1 with anxiety disorder. Whee! Brad just keeps, so. he keeps one up in me, you guys. Yeah. I feel like yeah. it's just kind of, it's, not a it's not a competition, Brad. The hits keep coming, guys. <laughs> the hits keep coming. So this just... It's been a rough year, um, and you want to think and you want to believe that shit's going to get better, but it's not going to It's not gonna get better. It's just you're going to get stronger. Like, that's how I feel about it. Yeah. I feel like, like you will have this expectation of what your life's going to be, like, especially when you're a kid. But even, like, January 1st, you're like, this is how this year's going to go. And I guarantee you it's not going to go that way. Yeah. And you aren't waiting for life to get better. You are getting stronger to deal with that, sh the shitty parts of life. And good for you, man. Good for you. Yeah. Like, anyone who's listening to this, you're building up your strength, and, you know, you're raising your walls, and you're getting tougher, and what's funny is that you're raising your walls by lowering your walls, but you're you're getting stronger to deal with the shit that life throws at you. It's uh, it's emotional push-ups. Emotional push-ups. I like that. We should. That's a shirt. We should make that a shirt. Emotional, emotional push-ups. Emotional push-ups. It's just it's just you doing a push-up and I'm crying on your back. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, uh. <laughs> emotional push-ups. Emotional push-ups. I like that. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so 2024 coming up. Yeah. And uh, we're going to keep going. Yeah. I'm not sure what our topics are going to be yet, mm -mm. but we hope to have some new folks to interview and, um, you know, we'll see how things go. Yeah. Um, again, we just want to thank y'all for supporting us, for continuing to listen. 
uh, for writing in with your suggestions, your questions, your comments, your support. It's been fantastic. And please write us more. And, yeah. and leave voice messages on Spotify. Voice messages. We love those. We love them. And we get to plug them right into the episode. So it's yeah. like you're on the episode. Yeah. Yeah. It's one thing to like be like, hey, uh, Gary K wrote in blah, blah, blah. It's another to hear Gary's voice. Yeah. Yeah. It's super cool. And, you know, we're branching out and trying new things. By the time this episode drops, we'll have already done this. But on uh, December 3rd. We're doing a live Q&A on TikTok. Yeah, which, you know, which, nothing says TikTok like two dudes in their 40s, let me tell yeah, you. <laughs> yeah, talking about mental illness. Talking about mental illness. We know we got approached by an awesome uh, woman who listens to the show and loves it, and she also is uh, someone who creates content based on mental illness, specifically bipolar, because that's Has what a she huge is. following. Yeah, which is great. And she's like, let's have a conversation. We're like, yeah. sure. How do you TikTok? <laughs> yeah. Like, we don't know how to tick or talk. Yeah, we have a dry run coming up tomorrow, which I'm very nervous about. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> uh, but we'll try our best. That's all we can do. Yeah. We'll sure. figure it out. Yeah. We'll figure it out, folks. We're, we're adaptable. The fact that we're both still vertical proves that. Yeah. But, you know, if... As far as messaging us, if there are things you would like to see us do, if you'd like to see us do more live events, mm-hmm. that'd be great. Sure. We've talked before about uh, trying to get together a batshit badasses meetup group. Yeah. You know, message us about that, whether it's you wanting to form one in your city or if you're in L.A., uh, getting together with us somewhere. Yeah. We would love that. Love that. Love to have a conversation. Yeah. I mean, that's all it is. All this is just a conversation. I kind of wish we could do like call-ins, like we're a radio show. Yeah, I do too. Man, I have no idea how we'd do that. No, nah, we'd have to preset yeah. all the call-ins. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There, just, there, there are ways, I guess, we could do it. But. but that just shows our age. Like We're like, I wish we were disc jockeys on some mental illness radio you station. You know, it's, it's like, I think you had mentioned before, you saw something where uh, someone was like, wouldn't it be great if there was just one phone at home that everybody could use, <laughs> and it was just kind of always plugged in, so you never had to worry about the battery dying? Yep. It's like, that's a landline. That's a landline. Those existed. And it's kind of the same thing, like podcasting, like, disrupted radio and now it's slowly just becoming radio just becoming radio again yep i mean how many podcasts sound like morning radio shows uh gross you got flush rj (laughs) and the gooch yeah (laughs) uh oh no (laughs) you guys are the best um keep listening keep supporting uh 2024 is gonna be a better year y'all or if it's not we're going to be strong enough to handle it, and we're going to yeah. keep getting stronger together. And seriously, I'm going to plug it again, because if you don't have a therapist, you need one. Yeah, make that your New Year's resolution. Betterhelp.com yeah. backslash batshit. Yep. And talk to someone. Just check it out. Check yeah. it out. Like do, do one month if you don't have a therapist already. Take advantage of our 10% off code. Yeah. And... You know, talk to somebody. Yeah. Hell, you don't even need to talk, talk. You can send messages back and forth with a therapist. Yeah, you, you can, can either, text. You can either do video chats, phone calls, or texting. Yeah, which is, you know, which is a great way sometimes to uh, test the waters. Yeah. So, yeah. But I'm a firm believer that we, if you're mentally ill, you have to have therapy. Yep. And if you're not mentally ill, you should have You should therapy. have therapy, <laughs> yep. I, th- I think everyone should see a therapist. Agreed. Because everyone at some point in their life has had a burgeoning form of mental illness. Yeah. I believe that wholeheartedly. Yeah. Yeah. Keep fighting. We'll see you in 2024. Woohoo! Woo!